I hate New Year's Eve. Welcome to Grumble Goat. My name is Matt Labodka, and this is a show about all the small things that drive me insane. Let's grumble. Ah, yes, the day before the new year. Why, that means if we stay up till midnight, we get to see the clock turn over to zero, something that the clock never does any other day of the year. What is so special about New Year's Eve? I get the new year. I understand that. New beginnings, a new year, something to look forward to, setting goals. I understand the concept of a new year, but why do we go out and spend hundreds of dollars to get ripped out at some prefix menu or some open bar celebration where everybody's just panting and sweating and it's loud and wet and gross and steamy? You see, the thing is, after Christmas, there's kind of a lull, right? We all spend autumn looking forward to Christmas, and then there's the big day of Christmas. And then after Christmas, we're all still in the festive mood, and we're mostly still on vacation, but there's nothing to do. So there's a lull between Christmas and New Year, and then New Year comes up, and man, oh man, is it time to party. But here's the thing. If you want to get drunk, you can get drunk every day after Christmas. You don't have to wait a week after Christmas to get drunk. You can just do that every night of Christmas. As a matter of fact, there's 12 days of Christmas. Let's pop a bottle of Jaeger and wake up next year. It astounds me for New Year's Eve when people go out to a fancy restaurant for a prefix dinner. You're spending three times as much as you normally would and your your reservation was what at nine? What was your plan? Are you gonna sit in that chair for three hours? You're gonna keep the conversation going with your date for three hours? You're gonna maintain conversation? You're gonna wrap up the year? You're gonna do a year end review for three hours? Or do you go out to a party that's crazy, crowded, overpriced? What's the purpose? I mean, obviously, the best way to start a new year is hungover. We all know this. I say this, but then I end up staying up till six in the morning on New Year's Eve. And you know why? Because I decided long ago, it's much more in my interest to work New Year's Eve. Because all of you that go out and spend all that money, that money goes somewhere. And it might as well go to me. So then I get home at five in the morning and that's when I open my champagne. So I can begin the new year on January 2nd. I hate the fake pomp that is New Year's Eve, and that's the grumble. Grumble, 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 grumble. What? Grumble, 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 grumble. What's got your goat? For the latter half of the show, we'll bring in my better half, Veronique, for an unpretentious look and a segment we call... What's got your goat? Abercrombie. Abercrombie. (laughs) Omicron, attack! Transformers, the Omicron is about to attack! Anyway, how are you doing today? Did you enjoy Christmas? Can I, I... I'm the interviewer. Oh, okay. I wanted to open with that. Anyway, you... Go ahead, you, open No, with no, that. no, you begin. Why don't you open with Merry no, Christmas? No, you... I will. Okay. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> Wait, ha- I was going to say Happy New Year. Oh, Happy New Year, too. Yeah. Yeah, we can say that now. Oh, there's so many holidays. Oh, they're just bundled all into one. Yeah. Mm. It's almost like they're the happy holidays. <laughs> they are happy holidays. These are the happy holidays. <laughs> How is your New Year? My New Year so far... Well, the first week of the New Year is always very difficult. Mm. Mm -hmm. Right? It's like we're recovering from New Year's Eve. You know, I worked, but like, you know, you still end up staying up pretty late. Yeah. And then it's recovery mode the next couple days. Yeah. You know, so like after that first week or that first couple days in the new year, I'm a new person then. A new person? Yeah. You're a new person. Well... I'm the same person. I you guess. look like the same person. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Just new and improved, you know. The new and improved Veronique. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. I'm excited about the new year. We've just started a Patreon account. We did. So that's a new thing for the podcast. Yeah, it's it's a perfect opportunity for people to be generous in the time of generosity. Yeah. So if anybody's got a resolution to be more generous, maybe they can think of Grumble Goat. Oh my gosh. Season. Thank you so much. We really appreciate your support. So we just got back from the holiday. Yeah, we went yeah. out to California for Christmas. For Christmas. It was very fun. We stayed in the house almost the entire time. We stayed in the house. <laughs> Thank you, Omicron. <laughs> yeah. But it was great. We went for long walks with the dogs. Well, we got to spend Christmas with family. Yes. And that's really what the season is all about. It really is. So what do you? what's the new Veronique for the new year? My New Year's resolution this year, I've been thinking about this mm-hmm. because, as you know, you do it for a couple of weeks and then you don't do it anymore. Oh. So my New Year's resolution this year mm-hmm. is to face my fears. Face your fears? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yes, I th- I'm excited about this. One. You're not going to have hiccups at all this year. No hiccups. Because you are 
constantly facing your fear. I am breathing every day. <laughs> All right. Now, for our listeners out there, name your fears. No! <laughs> Why don't we all plot some pranks for her? No! We had a couple pranks with those Christmas balls. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent choice of wording. <laughs> anyway. We had decorations up from yes. Halloween and for Christmas because we yeah. decided to do a Nightmare Before Christmas style decorating. Yeah. And one of our friends must have... Put some Christmas taken balls. Taken some of our Christmas ornaments. Yes. And hung them from a between skeleton. the legs of one of our skeleton ornaments. <laughs> Just gave us quite the chuckle. It Very funny. Definitely a nightmare before Christmas. <laughs> don't worry. Get the vaccine. Your balls won't be that big. We promise. Right. Yeah. We don't want to have Nicki Minaj's cousin's swollen balls. <laughs> anyway. Um, what are your fears? Name so, your fears. So my fears are. Spiders. <laughs> I do have. I don't like spiders. You're okay. correct. All right. But that's well, not what I'm now facing on, this you're year. You're killing the spiders. No. This year, you're taking the spiders out. No. I am going to put myself out there in a way that I haven't put myself out there before. Oh, my gosh. Yes. You don't want to be a public figure, do you? No. Well, we kind of are public figures. This is what I'm... Oh, this, I understand. That's a joke. what I meant. <laughs> anyway. So you're facing fear. So I'm facing my fears and putting myself out there. And I feel like it's vague enough that I can conquer all of the little tiny fears that I have of like imposter syndrome. Oh, I like that. Or... I like the idea of leaving resolutions vague. Yeah, of it's course. Like, you decide if you accomplished it. Yes. Like every day I'm going to say, what am I afraid of today? So right now, while we're recording this, it is the 3rd of January. Mm -hmm. What have you conquered fear-wise the last two days? Oh, well, today I conquered the pantry. You did? Yes. Yes, and you've always told me how you were afraid that the pantry was haunted. <laughs> yes, well, there's no light in there. What were you afraid of in the pantry? Well, all the bags that were falling out. Bags, bags, bags. Bags, bags, bags. See what are we going to do with all five? these bags? <laughs> so we organized the pantry. So I just want to point out that when we're recording this, yeah. it has just passed midnight. <gasps> right. So it's the fourth. Congratulations. Yay. I conquered my fears Congratulations. today. We stayed up till midnight. Woohoo. Woo, Party. Did it. Because that's what we do for New Year's Eve. Oh, yeah. We, well, we stay, stay up, up till midnight. Yeah, as if it's yeah. like, you know, like an accomplishment. But what is so special about midnight? Why why does everybody stay up New Year's Eve till midnight? I don't know, because I feel like the witching hour is really 3 a.m. Oh, is that the witching hour? Yeah, that's when people wake up and ghosts like haunt Oh, them. that's when people wake up and ghosts haunt. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, somebody had better wake up at 3 a.m. this year. <laughs> you have to face those ghosts. <gasps> I feel like I did last night. I had really a lot of trouble sleeping. Yeah. 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 But I came up with another idea. Yes. And that's one of my fears. Oh, no. You expressing your ideas. Oh, no. Yeah, right. They're fun. <laughs> I have a lot of ideas. Too many ideas. What did you do for New Year's Eve this year? As, as long as we're talking about New Year's Eve, how did you celebrate? Well, I celebrated... I was at work, but what was interesting this year mm -hmm. is everyone bounced at like 11 o'clock. Oh. Oh, yeah. I was like, oh, we have a champagne toast. What time did people sit down at? No, they like they didn't even want the hats and the crowns. And oh, they the didn't want that? No. Did they, they know it was New Year's Eve? Well, they started passing the stuff out at like 9, 30, 10, which I thought was a little early. And people denied it. They said, no, no, we don't want any hats. Oh, wow. Yeah. They're well, like, check, please. Were, like, oh. were the hats labeled Omicron? <laughs> They were labeled Happy New Year. I would have said no thank you as well. No! Yeah. Delta, Omicron, Flora, no, Florona, they said, Florona. They said Happy New Year? They said Happy New Year. Well, that's a little weird. I know. I said, oh, you don't want the champagne toast? And she said, no, 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 we're leaving. Hmm. I was like, oh, okay. It was interesting, though, because when I had my canned wine outside of work, after work. Oh. Yeah. Somebody celebrated. <laughs> well, of course, after I had to be with my girl and we had to catch up on girl stuff. Mm -hmm. There were drunk people everywhere. I now I remember you coming home that night. <laughs> yes. You might have been one of those. I was eventually one of those, mm -hmm. but not when I witnessed all of them. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I did this New Year's Eve? What did you do? What did you do? What um, how was your New Year's Eve? As you know, I worked. Yes, you did. Yeah. I yeah. I worked in Times Square. Oh my gosh, did yeah. you see that ball? Uh, you know, for the first time <gasps> ever, I watched the ball drop at midnight. Wow. Yeah. And it was Exactly as unimpressive as I assumed it was going to be. I know. I hate that ball. I hate that ball. It every... slowly came down. Yeah. And what what I had always thought it would come down, and that would be the 10, 9, 8, 7, the countdown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it wasn't. Yeah. 
it goes down like two thirds of the way. That's when the 10, 9, 8, 7, because it takes much longer than 10 seconds for it to go down. How about that? But no, I was at work. I was making money. That's good. I was because making some money. to me, I'm like, why, why spend all this money to go out on New Year's Eve? I remember as a kid watching that stupid ball with my grandma next to me asleep. And I'd watch that stupid ball because mm. everyone else was sleeping because they yeah. didn't care. And, and you know what? I have a little grumble about New Year's Eve. Okay, great. Yeah. Why do we need to kiss someone at midnight? Last year, you sent me a video yeah. of you kissing the screen. Yeah, I know. Yeah. yeah. This year, you didn't send me that. No, I didn't because I sent Happy New Year and then you didn't respond. I didn't? No. I was. You responded to the family. I was texting the family. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Because that's what the holidays are for. Well. Family. Well, we had just come back from California. Yes. And I wanted to show my family the ball. Yes. The little tiny ball that looked like a moon. That's no moon. (laughs) Yes. No, but like you have to kiss someone at midnight. I remember like it was an epic fail if I didn't have someone to kiss at midnight because of all the movies. Oh, the and, epic fail. Yeah. And so oh. I would have Kile. We would always kiss at midnight if we didn't have someone to kiss. Interesting. Yeah. That's interesting. So St. Patrick's Day, you must make out like a bandit. <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh, kiss me. I'm Irish. you're Irish. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. you have to kiss everybody that's Irish. <laughs> no. You don't. Like on New Year's Eve, you have to kiss one special person, but on <laughs> St. Patrick's Day, it's required that you kiss everybody that's Irish. Kiss all the Irish. <laughs> I love that you were raised with New Year's Eve not being a big deal. Yeah. And instead of growing into an adult that thinks, eh, New Year's Eve's no big deal, yeah. you put it on yourself. You're like, it's all on me now. That's think- New Year's Eve has to be a big deal. Yes. And it's up to Veronique. That's right. I'm saving the family. <laughs> You know what I used to do? What did you do? When I was younger. Oh, what? My family would get a hotel room, a local suburban Chicago (gasps) hotel room that had a pool. (gasps) That's so fun. Yeah. And so we would go play in the pool until the pool closed at 9 p.m. Yep. And then we'd go upstairs (gasps) and then right at midnight, pop that cork on the sparkling apple cider. That sounds so fun. Yeah. Perfect New Year's Eve. That is so special. In adulthood. Yeah. And all of a sudden, New Year's Eve became party night. Mm. And, you know, I got into party night. Oh, yeah. You know? And then eventually I was like, I can just bartend on yeah. New Year's Eve yeah. and make a lot of money. Yeah. Because people are willing to spend a lot of money. Yeah. Right. Because you're still at the party. And at midnight, you're still going to toast with everybody else. Yeah. And little trick of the trade. <gasps> you're still getting kissed at midnight. <gasps> Who was it? So I apologize. That was three days ago. Who did you kiss? Hmm? Who kissed you? What's that? Natalie. (laughs) That's right. I kissed your Pilates instructor. (laughs) Of course. (laughs) So, so let me ask you. Yeah. Just your opinion. Okay. Off the top of your head. Sure. Should old acquaintance be forgot? Old acquaintance be forgot? Old. Old acquaintance. I don't know what that means. I like to think of it as a mashup of all and old like should all your old acquaintances be forgot no because an acquaintance could be someone that could be a friend soon so i don't think you should forget them okay so you let your old demons haunt you oh so that's what it means it's a demon you tricked me no cancel all the demons that's what me too is all about no it's not (laughs) should all the acquaintance be forgot and what is that song follow-up question and days of auld lang syne I don't know what that means either. Days of all old langs. Because I feel like when we sing that song, we're already drunk. So we actually don't know what the words are. Oh, oh you think it's a mumble song. <laughs> it's, a, it's absolutely a mumble I song. I feel like I know the words of that song. Okay, why not? But now that you point that out, I don't know what the words mean. Mm. So it's like, oh, that, that could have just been mumbled so many eons of people being drunk that it became made up words. All, yeah, so I always thought it was all acquaintance be forgot. Should all, all acquaintance, acquaintance be, be forgot. forgot. It's should all. No, they shouldn't be. Okay, great. And never, never brought, brought to, to mind. mind. Oh. Should all oh. acquaintance be, be forgot. forgot. And days, days of all lang syne. Oh, I really want to sing that with you, but I don't know the words. Da, na, 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 na. It's a beautiful song, isn't it? When all acquaintance be forgot. Na, 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 na. Yeah, I've never known the words. What's your prediction for 2022? 
Oh, I read this thing on the internet that the first four words that you look at in like a little maze word scramble Mm -hmm. was going to be your year. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, that's not a generic random Facebook quiz. I love it. Anyway, so what mine were money, gratitude. You focused on money and gratitude. Hold on. Let me say that. Gratitude. I love that you want to say this again as if this is interesting. Yes, it is interesting. These four words. Yes. We're gonna make the podcast. It's get. funny. It's funny. All right, you, you're just you open a fortune cookie. Yeah, I love it. And the Chinese have a totally different New Year. They do. It's in like a month. In you know winter. where April Fools comes from? No, where? April first used to be the beginning of the New Year. Get out of here! Really? All right, I'm gonna take off. Why no? Why? Where are you going? You asked me to leave. No, you have to explain yourself. It used to be January first. <laughs> Yep, it used no! to be January 1st. No, no, you're April <laughs> Fool'sing me right now. This has been an episode of Grumble Goat. Thanks for listening. I'm Matt Labotka. I'm Veronique Hurley. Please subscribe. I hate when people say please subscribe. Grumble, grumble, grumble. And I watched a stupid ball because everyone else was sleeping because they didn't care. 